Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, this is Zero from info and today we have, well surprise surprise, a subscriber replay. This is actually the newest replay that I got sent in um, either today or yesterday, um, very new. And Lambo UK here is a long time subscriber but he has never submitted a replay until now. So let's see how he does for his first replay on the channel. Yeah, not quite quick enough on a draw on that one, but yeah, aim time, tank in front of her face, hello. Um, let's see if we can, oh, no, no, go, oh, oh, nice shot, straight into the gun mantlet, but didn't care. Oh man, those tanks that had to drive just straight in front of us, but the enemy has taken the hill, which is pretty bad. Can we get some shots into a target one, maybe, if he's gonna peek? Is he gonna peek? I thought the aim time of this gun was better than it is. Hmm. Okay, don't quite have a shot there. We are in a TD, so it's gonna be somewhat of a passive gameplay for now. Hellcat on left, Hellcat, Hellcat! Oh, 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 he's staying, he's staying! Ah, oh, shot goes high, dang it! Come on! Peek again, Mr. Hellcat. Can't see him. Should we have a line on the KB1 there? Oh, that is weird. I'm not quite sure what that texture glitch is in the back there. Uh, Black Prince is a tough target, even if you hit the turret. There's no guarantee whatsoever that you'll actually pin it. But again, not give it a go apparently. And that's what happens when I played this tank on a test server. Like every single one of my shots I fired just didn't hit the target. No, it's not the most accurate gun, but yeah, Black Prince is going to be tough. Um, if I had to choose, I would not be shooting Black Prince. Yeah, it's just gonna bounce off. Oh, we had a small shot there at the uh, FV. Ah, uh, I wouldn't even try. Oh, and we get spotted. Time to GTFO. KV4 managed to get around. Bulldog on the ledge. Come on. Oh, we're stuck on a rock. Ah, dang it. I think we managed to get a shot into the Bulldog there. Would have been nice. Oh, oh. We have a green marker. Okay. I guess the outline was just derping out there. So we have a KV-4. Um, the island is pretty much unprotected. We have a VK peeking out. Ah, try to put a quick shot into him. Sadly don't manage it. No, nope, don't go for him. Don't go for him. There we go. Ah, shot goes high. Bounces off still. Dang it. No shots there. Dodgy shot. Oh, better shot. Ah, shot goes wide again into the gun mantlet. Loading up the premium shells here, we do get spotted. Target 88 is pointing his gun at us. Ah, oh, shot goes wide yet again. Hits the side of the tank and does absolutely nothing. And this is what I got when I played this thing on the test server to try it out to see if I wanted this tank. I, this is literally all I got, where shots were just flying off left and right everywhere and just would not hit the target I was aiming for. Like that. It's like a damn thing has a shield on him. Holy crap! This is not looking too good. <laughs> okay, put a nice shot in Jack Tiger 88. Somebody else puts one in as well. Sadly, we don't have more shots. AT15 has some shots at something. He's off to our left. He might be shooting at the uh, Jack PZ4 there. Remitol Borse coming down as well. Oh man, this is looking bad. Can't see the Borsig. VK might be peeking out. If he goes up a little bit further, we could put a shot into his tracks there. We're looking for those shots. Ah, come on, peek out a little bit more. No, that was never gonna pin. Pulls back instantly here. Actually do not get spotted. Wow. Okay, it seems we have an outline on the Black Prince, but we can't actually see him. Which is interesting. So I guess the outlines are broken for some reason. Come on, finish him off. There we go. He is gone. AT-158 is... Or... AT-15. AT blah, I can speak. He's holding his own, but he's on perilously low health. Puts a nice shot into the Jack PZ-4 there. Not be a bad idea to help him out. Save our ally. And, well, okay. He didn't need saving. Fine. Be that way. <laughs> I see how it is. Trying to save you and you just. Pfft. So, right now, 
Lambo here is deciding where to go. There is a piece of artillery who has not been shooting at him this entire game. That's nice. You got the VK finally coming down off the hill. Did we get spotted there? Doesn't seem like it. Wow. And we're behind the bush now. As you can see, the bush is not transparent, so we should not get lit after firing this. We're still firing premium rounds here. This game is... Yeah, the team is getting slaughtered. Finish him off as well. Only one premium shell remaining. I would say load a normal round. And I'm not quite sure why he doesn't have any HE rounds. HE rounds on this gun are perfect for when shooting boar sigs and that sort of shit. Don't quite have a line on him. There's the Waffenträger. Just could spot it. I'm guessing he's gonna try to get a better line to KV-2, finish him off. We can kill the KV-2 in one shot, so... Really wouldn't be too bad to uh, finish him off. Tiger 2 finished off a KV-2. Don't even know where he was, but okay. Ah, try to put a bit of a risky shot there. It could have flown straight into the ass of the Tiger 2 there. Oh, the Tiger 2 finished off the KV-2. Okay, now I get what happened. I issue 152 off to your right. I issue, I issue, dangerous tank. He spots us. He retreats. He's hiding behind the wreck. He's thinking about it. And put a shot into his engine deck that lights him on fire. Does not seem like he has a fire extinguisher. And the AT-15 is still in the game and still putting shots into people, so it's fantastic. And we finish off the IG-152. Were we not spotted? Seriously? Wow. That's pretty bizarre. Okay, moving around here. Do we have a shot? If he peeks, we do. Come on, peek, 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 come on, come on, we're looking for a shot, come on. Be nice, peek. Don't you just hate it when people don't peek? <laughs> oh man. Yeah, we're just gonna have to move up and uh, go peek on two sides of that rock. That way he has no, you know, no place to run. Yeah, and he's trying to coerce him to go around the uh, northern side of the rock there to make him come out of the uh, southern end or whichever you want to call it. Make him go towards, make the target 2 go around the, uh, ooh, bye bye AT-15. Come on, move, he just fired, but the AT-15 died in such a shitty spot that the egg target 88 has nothing on him. Target 2 gets finished off as well. Ramatol Borsig is not overpowered at all. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I threw up a little bit there. Yeah, going in one by one. Now even the artillery is going in. If this Jack Target 88, 88 would just... Really? Please, some more people run into his gun. Come on. For frack's sake. I mean, seriously, this Jack Target 88 is being absolutely worthless. He can't ever shoot him, he can't come around a rock. So, yeah, it's just waiting for artillery. And there's another Waffentrager. Really? Two of those frackers? Oh my god, fall back, Yaktar 88! Risky shot there, very risky, but it did pay off. But very, very risky. So he now knows we're here. I would have taken that shot as well. I think it did damage. I don't think I saw splash, so pretty sure that did damage. So we're now up against two enemy tanks, one of which is a bullshit buff and trigger wagon bullcrap thing that is it just runs invisibility bullshit camel. <laughs> I hate those things. Me too. <laughs> um they get bullshit guns, bullshit camouflage rating. Their reload is way too fast for whatever that gun does. I just hate him. So, this is something that was actually in the email. He actually forgot that there's one more tank to kill and doesn't realize it until now. <laughs> he just had, he was just sitting there going la 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 la. Great game, woohoo! I won. Oh shit! There's still artillery. <laughs> 
Well, at least he now knows where the already is. That was fantastic. That just shows you the camouflage rating of this tank is pretty ridiculous. He just managed to stay hidden and spot the artillery. Now he does run binoculars on this thing, which is not a bad idea. Because this thing is so damn stealthy. Running some binox is not bad. So we know that the already is in the middle and more than likely will stay up there and try to spot us. Because he knows we're near base at least. So he's probably gonna stay up there and try to peek here and there. So let's surprise him with some surprise butt sex. Oh, wait, what? Wow. He managed to go around and get into our cap circle? What the F? Sneaky little bugger. And Lambo here is making the right choice. Going towards the left is definitely the better choice because he came from this side, so he doesn't really expect anybody else to come from here because he's been here. There was nobody here. So if you have to approach the base, I would say this side is definitely the best because you can actually go through the bushes here, break through the wall, and be surprised. <laughs> here we go. 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 There he is. I spotted him. And finish him off. GG without taking a single point of damage. Nice. Let's take a look at the stats. And here we are with the stats. Unsurprisingly, a Mastery Batch Ace Tanker. We got a high caliber and a top gun. A little bit of a boo-boo there when he kind of forgot that it was still an artillery life, but overall well played. Couple of risky shots with a gun that's that inaccurate. I probably wouldn't have taken those shots. They panned out, but ugh, I don't know if I would have done that. Walked away with 4.2k damage done, 1583 pace experience, wow, and 7 kills. Um, yeah, close to double what the next person on his team did. Uh, Target 2 had a decent game as well, AT15 had a decent game, a couple of people had a good game, and, well, most of, almost all the people in his team actually did damage, that already is a, a win in my book. Enemy team fought pretty hard as well, um, these were two pretty decent teams against each other here. Like this many people doing over a thousand damage, that's not bad. So, fired 27, hit, hit 21, only penned 14, and that's why, I don't know, um, I'm not a fan of this tank. Like I said, I tried it out on a test server, and I just had shot after shot after shot just missing, going nowhere, bouncing off. I think I had, I tried three games in a thing, and one game I did a thousand or so damage. And the other games I did maybe 390, so one penning shot, and I fired 10, 12 shots, the rest all missed or bounced off. And that's been my experience with this tank. I just hate tanks that just can't hit shit or just bounce off all the time. I find it really annoying to play those tanks, so that's I guess why I don't like this thing. It's just, eh, um, it, it didn't quite work as a sniper, because it's highly inaccurate and pretty low penetration. For tier 7, it's not bad penetration, but can't really call it good either. And for a TD, you kind of want to sit at range and it just doesn't really function all that well. So maybe I need just need to play this thing differently if I would play it, but since I don't own one, I don't have to worry about it. Um, maybe I'm just scrapping it. But anyways, so walked away at 45k profit. It is only, quote unquote, in tier 7 tank, so you're not going to make as much as a tier 8, but still, Doing that much damage, not bad at all. We got a little bit of spotting damage on top, and this was his daily double. I got some bonus experience for a premium vehicle, which is always nice. That's one of the reasons why you're running these, to get extra experience and make your crew go faster, train faster. For a grand total of 5,222 experience, very nice and congrats, and thank you for submitting your first replay, and maybe the first of many? Mm -hmm. If you have more games. Um, and yeah, um, if you don't know what's going on, we currently have sub month going on. What does that mean? Well, that means I'm going to make a video every single day, if at all possible, with my time schedule. Um, little disclaimer. And I'm just going to show replays from you guys, because I want you guys to shine this month, because we hit 1k subscribers. And actually, subscribers have been going up pretty nicely. I think we're already at 1,010 or something. It, it's been going up pretty decently. So, welcome to all the new people. So, yeah, for all the new people that don't know what we're doing, we're celebrating 1,000 subscribers with just showing replays from you guys this month. If you want to submit your own, the address is in the description down below. And, yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.